Formula One racing is famous for its insane speeds, over 335 kilometers per hour. But it's interesting that these cars don't use huge engines like typical supercars. They only rely on a 1.6 liter V6, and strangely, an engine that's small can produce nearly 1,000 horsepower. So the question is, how can this tiny engine perform so powerfully? In this video, we'll break down the modern generation of Formula One engines. From their technical specifications, hybrid systems, and turbochargers, to the secrets of their efficiency that make these tiny engines some of the most efficient in the world. As we touched on earlier, Formula One regulations since 2014 have mandated the use of a 1.6 liter V6 engine with a 90 degree angle. The cylinder bore is only 80 millimeters, and the piston stroke is just 53 millimeters, giving each cylinder a volume of about 0.267 liters. Compared to mass production cars that average 0.5 liters per cylinder, it's clear how small the combustion chambers are in an F1 engine. However, this small capacity doesn't mean it's weak. On the contrary, this engine can rev up to 15,000 revolutions per minute, which is an extraordinarily high number for an internal combustion engine. So even though it's physically small, its performance remains extreme. Beyond just burning gasoline, modern F1 engines rely on two additional electric motors that are part of the power unit. They are MGUK which is connected to the crankshaft and stores or releases energy from braking. MGUH, which is directly connected to the turbocharger. This system converts heat energy from the exhaust gases into electricity, while also reducing turbo lag. When the turbocharger is working, exhaust gases spin a turbine that forces more air into the engine. The energy that would normally be lost is captured by the MGUH. This way, the extra electrical power can be channeled to the MGUK or stored in the battery, all while keeping the turbo responsive. The MGUH itself has three primary roles. Keeping the turbo spinning. This ensures the engine's response remains instant, even when the pedal is released. Converting heat into electricity. This energy can then be stored in the battery for later use sending power directly to the MGUK. This allows extra power to go straight to the rear wheels without delay, making the car's response instantaneous. In other words, the MGUH turns energy that would have been lost in the exhaust into useful power. Besides the MGUH, there's also the MGUK, which is connected directly to the crankshaft and provides an instant effect to the rear wheels. Its two main functions are providing an extra boost. The MGUK can deliver up to 120 kilowatts, around 160 horsepower, directly to the crankshaft, making the car's acceleration more aggressive. Regenerative braking system. When the driver brakes, the energy that would normally be lost is converted into electricity and can be stored in the battery as a reserve, up to 120 kilowatts. With the combination of both, out of the total 1,000 horsepower of a modern F1 car, around 850 horsepower comes from the V6 engine, while the remaining 160 horsepower is supplied directly by the hybrid system. Before we continue to explore the incredible engineering behind Formula One engines, and how they manage to generate up to 1,000 horsepower from such a compact design, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, JLCCNC. They offer professional CNC machining services at an affordable price starting from just $1 with fast delivery in as quick as three days. And here's the best part, new users can claim a $70 coupon to start their project right away. So whether you're an engineer, a student, or simply someone who loves prototyping, JLCCNC can help bring your ideas to life. You can check out the link in the description below now, let's move on and take a closer look at what makes a Formula One engine capable of producing a thousand horsepower. Now that we understand how the power is generated, the question is, how do teams manage fuel so all that power can be used throughout the race? This is where Formula One's fuel regulations come into play. 
To keep things fair and challenge the engineers, Formula One has two main fuel regulations that must be followed. But don't be fooled, these rules are actually a major driver for engine design innovation. For example, Total Fuel Limit Each team can only carry a maximum of 110 kilograms for a full race, so from the start, the total energy available is limited. Fuel Flow Limit The engine is only allowed to consume a maximum of 100 kilograms per hour, calculated with the formula. With 100 kilograms of fuel, the total energy an F1 team can use is around 1,240 kilowatt hours. If the engine's efficiency is over 50%, then about 620 kilowatt hours can be converted into mechanical power. Combined with the hybrid system's contribution, this results in a total of approximately 1,000 horsepower. So where does that extremely high efficiency come from? One of the secrets lies in a technology rarely found in regular engines, pre-chamber ignition. This technology creates two combustion chambers, a small one next to the spark plug and the main cylinder chamber. Uh, the small chamber ignites a quick and powerful initial spark, which then spreads to the main chamber, making combustion more efficient and stable. Interestingly, this technology doesn't violate the rule of one injector per cylinder because the small chamber isn't a separate injector. It's directly connected to the main one. But that's not all. The high efficiency of an F1 engine is also supported by other equally important combinations, a high compression ratio and a pneumatic valve system. F1 engines are limited to a maximum compression ratio of 18 to 1, a value you'll never see in everyday cars. This high ratio is only practical in racing. A high compression ratio increases efficiency but also creates extreme operating pressures. To handle this, F1 uses a pneumatic valve system which keeps the valve stable at high RPMs without the risk of valve float. Thanks to this system, the 1.6 liter V6 engine is able to produce around 850 horsepower from internal combustion alone. While the official data is never released to the public, independent calculations estimate that an F1 turbo can generate pressure up to around 35 PSI. This figure is more than twice the normal air pressure at sea level. The result? The tiny 1.6 liter engine can breathe far more efficiently, producing power that seems unbelievable for such a small capacity. Modern Formula One, engines aren't just ordinary internal combustion engines. The combination of high thermal efficiency, a pneumatic valve system, an advanced turbocharger, and pre-chamber ignition results in 1.6 liters producing plus or minus 1,000 horsepower. This is why F1 engines are still considered the most efficient in the world. So will this technology ever be applied to road cars, or will it remain an exclusive racing secret? Let us know what you think in the comments section.